Hi there guys, uh, welcome back. Um, and we're going to do the last bit here is how to um, set up the system that we always have the files with us. Okay, so we don't have to be hunting files down. Especially for your submission, I don't want to, um, if you follow this from the beginning and every time you add something to the uh, uh, script, you will always have your files uh, localized and you don't have to worry about that you've, you left your files on the desktop or anything like that. Because remember if you did that and then you hit render and then you're going to look for those files and you can't find them, it won't be able, it will only render black. So you don't want that because that will inflict in your mark, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here, for example, um, if I go here and I pick up, just remember that this is the folder structure you're going to have, okay? So at the moment I have it here in all this. I have it in my uh, iDrive, uh, lecture documents, um, class data, data composite, classes, week one, blah, blah, blah. So all this stuff here, it could change if we move it to another computer. It will be not I, but F. Or we put, make a copy of this and put it in another hard drive and it will be um, there are different... Uh, folder structure okay so we need to get rid of this of every time you bring a file so for example if I have this and I put it here okay and if I read this uh, look what happens so it happens that I am looking at this file on again on uh, you see the whole path I lecture documents all the stuff blah 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 it goes all the way around okay and it goes all the way to the file which is three something okay so what we need to care take care about is is this so we need to know that our script, this one, dummy script final, which is this one, okay, is in this directory, okay, and it's here, okay, and this is all the folder structure that you have. It's just like when I explained to you guys um, at, at the end of last semester in Maya with a project, when you put your files in the source images, if you move that to another computer and you don't have to start set up there properly, then you will have an issue because the files will be missing so if you create a project and you set up from the beginning every time you create a new texture you go and put it into source images and it will automatically pull out from there and it will avoid the whole path that is what we're doing here is something called the relative path we, we're creating a path that is relative to the actual script so this here for example uh, this folder render is relative to this um, script by only this folder if it's absolute not relative, it means that it needs to know about all this stuff and we don't want that because like I said, if you make a copy and you put another hard drive or you put in another kind of the hard drive in a different um, folder then you will have issues, okay? So what we have to do is we have to create this to be relative, okay? And in order to do that we have to get rid of all this path, okay? And in order to do that what we have to do is just remember that this file here is, uh, this folder is relative to this script, this one. So we need to get rid of all this stuff here okay so if we get rid of all this and it do that it gives an error because it doesn't know okay I, I know that it's here but I just don't understand I put backslash still doesn't know so there's a nice way to sort this out by putting a little bit of code I think it's I think it must be Python or Tickle uh, TCL which is the, the, the scripting language from it's called it pronounced Tickle by the way um, TCL uh, file Tickle f uh, script that comes with um, um, Nuke. So this I put here. I'm gonna leave you this guy here. So I'm gonna put this file here in a in a sticky note. If you wanna create a sticky note, you have to put this tab, put sticky, like um, with S sticky. No, I can't type today. Sticky note, and then you create a sticky note, and then you can go here and then type whatever you want. So you can put whatever you want, and you can change the size. You can scroll down here and then create the size of the tile. Or you can just type the number here. You can change the color, the color of the or the or the font, or you can change the color of the background here as well. So that's 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 um something you can do. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I put this guy here, and the reason this is the fold. This is the way you have to type before the folder. So pretty much what it says is uh, value root name, which I think root name is the name of the script. The value of that put it in the directory and then return the file path. Okay, pretty much that's how we read. I think the reason I put these little ticks here is that if I don't put those ticks there, look at this. Look what happened in the view here because it sort of understand this and automatically give me the whole path. So we don't want that. So the reason that's why I put here get rid of the ticks, guys. So let's see, get rid of the ticks. So you go there. So I, I got rid of those. So because once I put it there, so it doesn't understand it, you see, it gives, it gives me an error. So one tick is enough, I suppose. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to go here and put it before this stuff. I put it there, but I'm going to get rid of this because otherwise it's going to give me an error. So if I put it here, I put this and I press enter. You see now it finds the file. You see? So I don't have to remember any of this. All I have to do is make sure that I have the file here set up. 
the file here. Make sure that my dummy script is always here outside this folder with your name and set, uh, student number and everything that I use is inside this folder, everything. If you have a file on your desktop, you're done, guys, because you will not find it, okay? So you will have issues, okay? So just remember that. So this is probably the easiest way to do it. There's another way to do it that I'm not, I, I, this is probably quite new for me, I never used it before, but I normally use something here called expression. So I create this, I put in a path, and then I create something similar here. Okay, we probably can go through in class how to connect this one here, but this is not important. Okay, this is not. So I can probably leave that here for you guys. So pretty much what it is is you create this a dot. If you want to create a dot, all you have to do is, for example, if I view this, okay, and if I put, I don't know, let's put a blur note, something simple here. So I'm gonna blur this out, okay. And let's say that I want to put it here. I don't want if I want to make this line like nice uh, I'm gonna put it here for example but I wanna have some lying around and I'm gonna, gonna make other connections. So if I press control here, you see what happened? Control and then give me these yellow dots. If I click here it automatically creates a um a button there. Okay. So I click there and now I have this line. So this is gonna be very important that we're gonna talk probably in week two how to clip you how to keep your um your scripts clean. So and again you can do this and you can create more, it's up to you. But if you want to create a single one, you just just press tab and press dot D O T and it creates just a dot. And you can probably connect it here if you want to. But that's what I did. I create this guy here and then I added a little bit of a script and then I made these connections here. And then every time I do that all I have to do is replace this with the original photo sequence, which is this is the original photo sequence, which is here. Okay. And uh, all I have to do is put the dot one, which is this guy, see this guy called the hook one, and I put this reconnect. I can leave you this guy here in the actual connection. So I'm gonna probably clean this up, and then I just leave you this stuff here, so you can play around with it a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Um, again, you as um as a uh, students, artists, just use this one, it's easier. This is a bit more complicated. We're not going to be covering scripting, how to create scripting in uh, um, in um, <clears throat> New York because I think you use Python, so it's a bit more complicated stuff. So, here, this is fine. So, I'm going to leave you this with probably one file and or this, and then it's going to leave you this in case you want to just play around with it. And probably, if you want, I can show you individually, guys, how to do this connection. But I think this is probably the one that I'm going to be looking at, this one here. So remem remember, just get rid of the tick here, and then it works, okay? So I just didn't, I put it there so I can sort of produce like a, you know, like an error, so it doesn't give me the whole path. Because we understand this automatically sticking out. And then give me the actual result, okay? It just works a buffer, so output buffer, so a stream or something. Okay. All right, thank you very much, guys. And that's it for now. This is going to be this for this week. After that, you are ready. So um, next thing you need to do is just create, choose your file, uh, analyze it, talk about it, do some bit of planning, and then um, export your image sequences. Okay? Uh, there's an extra tab that we didn't cover, which is uh, uh, lens distortion. But that's something that we are going to talk about when we uh, when we do, um, we start, I think, in week four or five, we start doing, or week I think week three or four, we're going to start working on the, how to create the uh, 3D cameras. And for that, you need to have lens distortion. But you need to have a little bit of theory for that because it's, it's, you need to understand what's going on before you actually apply. Okay? So, um, thank you very much, guys. That's it for now. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.